Hi there, my name is Amo, and in this video I'm going to show you how to connect Polypop to OBS so that we build an effect inside of Polypop and bring that into OBS as a source. So um, to start, we're going to work with this uh, effect that we built in another YouTube video uh, that's available on the YouTube and our YouTube channel, and it's how to build a 3D tip jar. And so we want to bring in this tip jar here, which emits a coin as we receive cheers on our inner channel. We want to bring just this 3D effect into OBS. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to hide all the layers that are unrelated to this effect, um, like our background, our app capture, all that other stuff. So we get it just down to, in this case, our 3D coins. So of course, if we just built a scene, a blank scene, and built just this effect, we wouldn't have to hide any layers or anything. I'm just doing it in this case, since we're working backwards from the other example. So now I have it down to just this effect in this, in this space. So the next thing we just need to do is launch OBS, if we haven't already done so. And we're going to be adding a source into OBS. So we're gonna hit this plus button here. I'm gonna add this video capture device source, and I'm gonna hit okay to create new. And then here we're gonna select Polypop camera from the device list. And when we do that, we see that it starts to bring in our, uh, our effect here. So if I hit OK, I'm going to uh, make this full screen here so we can see it. And if I go back into Polypop, there you can see that the, um, the coins are kind of coming in. Now, the, the issue here in, in OBS is that this is now not, this isn't transparent. So if we add, for instance, in OBS, a color source layer, and I stick it behind um, this our effect here, you can see that Polypop's source is completely opaque, so it kind of hides whatever layers are underneath it. So to make that transparent, we can uh, go and change some of the properties of this video capture device, of the Polypop video capture device source. And to do that, we're just going to go into the properties for it, and then under resolution FPS type, you're going to select custom. And then after you do that, you have to go to the resolution dropdown and select the resolution that's shown here. And it might be different uh, depending on what your output settings are in Polypop, but just select that single item that's listed there. And lastly, under video format, you want to select ARGB. And when we do that, it makes the background transparent. And so, as you can see, we can now layer our effect onto uh, the foreground. And if we go back to Polypop here and emit these coins, and you'll notice that the shadows also um, layer in correctly. So we now have this effect that's connected to Twitch that um, feeds its uh, feeds directly into OBS, and then we can continue using OBS if we're more comfortable or familiar with that. When you minimize Polypop, it's still active and still actively rendering. So if it's connected to alerts from Twitch, these will activate as expected. If you have other types of alerts like hotkeys and where you push buttons, those will still continue to work. Um, and so. Hopefully that all makes sense. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.